this video, I'm going to explain the definition of entropy that involves heat flow. So this is our second definition for entropy. The first being the one that involves the number of microstates. And we saw the formula and the calculations for that in the previous video. Uh, what I said about that definition is that the microstates involve more statistics and heat flow, this definition, involves more chemistry. So this is the definition that we use when we talk about entropy in chemistry. So this is the formula in this case. So delta S for the system is equal to Q reversible over T, in which the delta S is the entropy change. The Q reversible is the heat for the real reversible reaction, and the T is the temperature. So we're familiar with most of these definitions. Uh, the delta S, the units for the entropy are going to be joules over Kelvin. As you can see from the formula, the heat is in joules and the temperature is going to be in Kelvin. So that's going to give you the units. So now let's look at the same problem with, that I solved with the definition of microstates. But now we'll use the heat flow one. So we had a mole of neon on a valve, and this gas is going to expand from two liters to three liters, absorbing 1,718 joules of heat at a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. So using this definition, all we need to really find out is what the heat of the, of the reversible reaction is and what the temperature is. And they're both given to us. So the heat of the reversible reaction let me change the color, is going to be 1,718 joules of heat or of energy. And the temperature, we get it in Celsius, and we want to change it to Kelvin. And 25 is 298 Kelvin. So our formula was delta S. Q reverse temperature, so we plug that in, and we'll get that the entropy change for the system is 5.76 joules per Kelvin, which is the same number as the definition, as the entropy definition that uses microstates. So as you can see this is a much simpler process. The other one involved having the initial and final W. So this one is much simpler. So basically all you have to remember is that for the definition of entropy that involves heat, you will divide that, that amount of heat over temperature and that will be your, the formula you'll have to think of whenever you hear of entropy on chemistry. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you liked it and found it useful. And if you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to see more videos like this one.